supposed to be working right now But I'm not working, I'm doing nothing My dick I'm jerking, myself I'm sucking Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast First one back from RadCon, boys! Yeah, boy! Yeah! yeah. not sad about it <laughs> I am the best guy ever, and we're joined by Mr. Munchie. If there's one thing that you know about me, if, if there's one thing that your friends know about me, it's that I've never been more nice than I am when I have a bunch of chocolate in my belly. Feed me <laughs> yummies. Give me the chocolate. Uh, <laughs> ben Saint is here. Uh, please, Nate. Uh, Mr. Munchie is Munchie's father's name. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has an unrelated name. Munchie is... Give me uh, yummy you know. snacks! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Hypocrite is here as well. I'm a nice guy to everyone but myself. And a, a special guest, uh, Mr... <laughs> Double Munchie, Munchie's father. Uh, 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 hello, everyone. It's me, Mr. Munchie's I'm Double Willy, Munchie. I'm Willy Wonka. I supply the chocolate. <laughs> That's why my son is so fast, because I have the bad <laughs> chocolate right before me. I am into force feeding. That's my sole kink. No penetration, no any sex, only chocolate. <laughs> well, there he is. Thanks for joining yeah, yeah. us, Double Let's Munchie. give him a big round of applause. Yeah, all right. Thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping all right, by. All right. All right. And, uh, and enough retardation. Nate, yeah. what, what's the topic here? What, what, define it. What's going on? Tell us. All right. Here you go, everybody. The topic today is why mm. being nice sucks. Why being nice is reprehensible behavior that you should not partake in. But, but and, Nate, what, what does the word yeah. nice mean? Like, like does it does it mean does it mean some sort of, something with army vets? Is it some sort of pension plan? <laughs> is it something to do let with me, is it a town in France? Let me tell you that that's right. That's a, that's a very nice thing oh uh, here we go uh nice adjective <laughs> nice an adjective used to describe someone with exceptional skill in a certain area what? the term is never used pejoratively or sarcastically what the f and here's the um, example my man is real nice on the microphone okay that is okay. the worst possible here's another one Okay, here, here's another one. Uh, nice. Uh, this one has a bunch of definitions. <laughs> okay, you're going to like this. Number one. I doubt it very talented. much. Talented. I don't know where this, like, talented thing is coming from. Why does not... I mean, I guess it's sort of... Okay, number one, talented. Number two, an interjection similar to saying word when you are in agreement w with what someone just words. said or you Looking approve like of what they said. from 2000. Wait. Number three, number three, high on marijuana is the, is the um, yeah, these are the worst dog. fucking def, uh, uh, there's another one that says nice, something you say to the guy you don't want to fuck, um, like, hey, you're a real nice guy, dot, 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 but okay, pregnant pause sure. in my non-pregnant vulva, mm, um, <laughs> that's, mm, boy, that's, um, oh well, uh, this is a literal catastrophe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Everything's> <laughs> over. It's this is terrible. Uh, there are n there are literally no good definitions of the word nice. Here's, I don't think here's any of these capture. Definition of the word nice. Okay. Uh, nice is like is is nice, but it's not great. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. You know what? <laughs> uh, actually, there is one more, and that that is pretty accurate. Here, here's like a longer definition. This one's like kind of okay. Nice, used by men to describe all women in an offhanded way when expressing their real opinions will cause them great troubles. For example, <laughs> they could be under threat of being slapped or dumped by their girlfriends, or getting punched and kicked into a pile by their buddies. Oh my God, this is terrible. These punched are or all kicked bad. into a pile by their buddies. By their buddy, like what? Like, hey man. Well, how what? How, how, you don't fucking whoa, whoa, talk whoa, that way bro. about a lady. Your girlfriend Roundhouse is a queen. Into, into the pile <laughs> like the rest of the misogynists. I, I've, got, I've got a bag full of misogynists. So I'm just going to stuff just, you if, into. If one of my friends ever comes up to me and starts t telling me that like I'm not treating my GF enough <laughs> like a queen, um, we're going <laughs> to have gonna some problems. He's going to knock you into a pile <laughs> He's of your <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we we have we have to do it. We have to deviate from our god canon no, here and Nate, come up with no, our own come on, definition. We can't. We cannot we, do it. We must. Like below this is a number six. The plan is all we now. have. <laughs> number one, skillful. Number two, high. These are the <laughs> why, definitions why of nice. Why? why was 
was high what on there happening? two times. Why is like weed related to the word nice in any way? What? I think That's we're behind the times, guys. On this one. I think okay, we're obsolete. This one. Number seven, nice. Aesthetically pleasing. No, like that's like kind right. of that's like right, sort of specific. Nice is a very vague specific. term that just uh, means in between right. good and great. Google, according to Google, Google search, what's Google say? Okay. Nice <laughs> is an adjective meaning pleasant, agreeable, satisfactory. We have oh, well, there nice you go. <laughs> maybe we should there use Google instead of <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe maybe we should bing it, guys. Maybe we should bing it. We really should be binging it. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the solution here. Oh, okay. okay. So, <laughs> what a fucking home clusterfuck. Defining nice has been the greatest clusterfuck in all PCP history. <laughs> you know what? I'll bet, PCP I'll guy, bet there's to find some the like... Of the PCP ba- child's play. Baby shit. <laughs> trying to yeah, find out yeah. what the word nice means? Impossible. <laughs> hey, what's, um, what's that website that has like... It's like, it's always like how to blank and then there'll be a bunch of steps with like really ugly Wiki drawings. Uh, oh, uh, rhymezone.org? No, no, no. Wiki no. Wiki Wiki yeah, yeah. Yeah, WikiHow. WikiHow. Wiki let's how let's to go on WikiHow nice. and look up how to be nice. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's right, let's see what right we got. <laughs> WikiHow. I hate this. Oh my God. I hate this. Nice. This is not nice right now. Okay, this okay. It's not so nice. I'm going to give an abbreviator. I got okay, it. number I got one, it. smile. Number two, acknowledge other people. Number mm-hmm. three, be a good listener. Number mm-hmm. four, be courteous, polite, and helpful. You're welcome. And also, thank you. Let me let me let me just amend that to include trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, hey. cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Uh, Shout out to uh, my scouts, Boy Scouts <laughs> for life. Mm-hmm. Practice look, look. empathy. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Look nope. at this gonna picture. Have to scratch I remember that this one the show Look at this picture of Nate, best guy ever, being empathetic. <laughs> 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 I'm fucking blind. I am blind <laughs> in this situation. He had to. He, oh, he, no. he losing his sight. He had to develop a new wait a sense. Minute, wait a minute. A new this sense is... to help him navigate the world, <laughs> this... and that sense being was empathetic. empathy. What you're actually describing here is Mr. Clean being nice to me post blindness because it's the <laughs> other guy asking for help uh, or asking if this blind man needs help. Yeah, you're okay, not only okay, okay. blind. You're actually okay. like hobbling. That's not a walking yeah. stick. That is a crutch you're holding. After my legs have been destroyed. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we have to put a kibosh. This really evolves into Monsters <laughs> yeah. 2.0. We, can, we cannot spend all of our time yeah, on right. WikiHow. We spend eight minutes trying to find out what the word fucking nice means. It, we have it to get like back pleasant. on track here. All right. Let, here, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Pleasant. Okay. P- please, pleasant please, is really please. what it means. Allow me, to, allow me to have the floor. Allow me to have the microphone pass me. Wait, wait, wait. First, okay. I just want to say that I don't think anything in the world bothers me as much as the drawings on WikiHow. <laughs> <laughs> They're very it's wor- not. Nice. It's worse than that. Like the like the kind of the kind of feeling I get looking at at WikiHow. It's kind of like how when you see furry art that's like really furry, and it's like, ooh, oh, it's, yeah. it's got that furry feeling about yeah, it. Really? Like, WikiHow like, is like the, the same. dial. The dial on the art is turned to maximum for like way past My- like the legal amount. Yeah. My problem with the drawings on WikiHow is kind of similar to my problems with being nice in general. It's kind of just like, it's kind of like basic. It's kind of boring. It's oh kind of uninteresting God. and surface okay. level. Right. But we'll get to th- it. Th- that that leads that leads in, into mm-hmm. my. I, I want to have the first first word here. Mm-hmm. This topic is vile and embarrassing. This sure. topic literally makes mm-hmm. me feel like like sad that I live in a world and I and I and I live in a group <laughs> where this topic can be seen as okay to be. I can't believe it's real. I cannot believe that we are <laughs> such a fucking pretentious, sanctimonious, conceited group that the topic <laughs> "Why Being Nice Sucks" is treated with any sort of respect whatsoever. It's embarrassing, <laughs> and frankly, I think this is the worst topic. Not you know, not like monsters. Did you not see? Suggest- just topic this topic <laughs> this is the worst topic because it just shows a, a look into our souls and how dirty and broken we are it's been said many times don't treat the pcp like they're idols don't you know don't don't uh, we are uh-huh. broken individuals but that cannot be resonated any higher than it is right now with the topic why be nice sucks this proves that none of us have love or deserve love and mm, we should be yeah. shot immediately if you see us in the streets any of I us i mean i was this not your suggestion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> oh, my well, God. It, it, it was, but only because I hated it so much that it was on the docket. Well, uh, okay. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, listen, the reason why it is perfectly reasonable to bring up this topic is because just like Ben, <laughs> everyone out there isn't using their brain properly when yeah. they when they think yeah, about no, the no, world. They're not Tell using me their more. brain right. Tell me more. Uh, being nice is the most shameful <laughs> course of action <laughs> that one can take in their life. Listen, listen. All right. 
I, I, this is going to come down to the topic of like nice guys for me. That's what it boils down to. And you know, nice <laughs> girls and anybody. Nice guys finish last this is down the most to, cited. To for it me. is it is the most quoted phrase in human history for a reason, and it's because it's so true. <laughs> no, Everyone understands no. this on an instinctual biological this level. Be that being nice is a mistake across the <laughs> no. board. Never do it. Never apologize for who you are. I have to take my will putrid. I have All to right. take my will putrid. Never I, apologize I, for what you need. I feel Go like on. I feel like I'm on both sides of this because, like, mm -hmm. I understand that. Yeah, nice guys finish last for a reason. No. It's true, but but mm -hmm. I I like being nice. I like being wholesome and good and and doing you like good finishing last. People. Well, well, no. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, uncomfortable it's, it, last the thing place. is, the thing there's is, no pressure there's, here. There's, 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 there's like niceness can be overdone and i think that's what nice guys finish last means because if oh, a yeah. nice guy has nothing but being nice no. they will mm -hmm. not get very far oh, they have oh, to be oh. cool as well oh, hold on I, i'm sure this like realistically this doesn't need to be said because we can all imagine what nate's position is like we already know it in our mind but but nate <laughs> obviously you're gonna come down hard on being nice because that's just of the course. kind of guy you are so please explain right. your relationship with be with being nice okay. and having warmth and okay he, he, let me black pill everybody as i do all the time <laughs> on being nice Let Listen, being nice is a fucking scheme to make you subservient to the rest of the world. It is a literal trick. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Okay, l l here's the real deal. L let's say you're a guy and you you're just like a you're like a 16 year old guy and you want a girlfriend. How do you get Mistake. the girlfriend? I, yeah, it'd be like MGTOW tower for life, my brothers. But like us putting that aside, let's say this is your goal. You don't get there by just like going around and being pleasant. You get it by just doing the things that you want to do in life, and then people gravitate to your animal-like sexuality this and is, magnetism. This is already like like yeah. the, what the argument here is is not that niceness uh -huh. is bad. It's just that it is not a substitute for a real personality. It is not a personality that's true. type in itself. Yeah. Well, it is that, just that's the a thing, though. Set of like, uh, you know. You know, give somebody, give people the benefit of the doubt. If, well, you know, oh, okay. don't don't take, don't die on every single hill of every every argument you have. Mm -hmm. Like there's, like it's just a, 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 like a code of like, don't be a dick. And it's like not a personality that you can ascribe yourself. And if you try to, you mm -hmm. will finish last because that's not, it's not real. I have a personal history. I definitely have personal issues when it comes to niceness. Because my childhood, I did the whole being a nice guy thing and it did not work out and I deeply resent the people who kind of implied that that was the right way to go. If it's I always instead, parents. This is like, it, be I mean, a nice boy parents, and you'll get yeah. what you want. Uh, not true. Okay, okay. The, like, the idea that, like, like the word nice has been boiled mm -hmm. down to just specifically being a nice guy is is yeah, very yeah. narrow, but th that's fine. In in relation mm -hmm. to nice guys, uh, I completely agree that you shouldn't, mm -hmm. like, just be, like, 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 like a nice guy uh, mm -hmm. because that's uh, that just makes you a weirdo asshole. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I really don't, like, like, wh like why is being nice bad, exactly? Okay, why, here's why. Why don't you uh, want the... to be nice and just, like, live your life as a nice person? And, on and on a, a conceptual good, level, person? on a, on a uh, conceptual level, there is nothing wrong with being nice. Like, if you've got two guys, like, let's say you've got, like, well, I don't know. When, when I think of nice guys, I think of, I think of this I heard a long time ago. And it was, like, if you've got, like, a girl who's, like, attracted to two guys... And, like, one is, like, a normal guy. Well, for first of all, let me say slut, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Great. It's Well, it's more like just, like, who is a woman going to be attracted to? Like, a really attractive guy who's, like, who is also nice. But this guy is, like, he's, like, let's just say he's, like, rich. Uh, he's, he's really fun to be around. He's exciting. But then he's also really nice and he treats her well. Like, obviously, that's, like, literally the dream guy. But as opposed to, like, let's say you've got just, like, some average-looking guy. But he's not, quote, unquote, a nice guy. Like, he's a little more edgy. Is a little more rebellious like the girl is going to be interested in like the guy who's got everything going on and is also nice because I, niceness in itself is not <clears throat> actually a bad thing but yeah if, what it comes down to for me and i know this is this is a personal thing it's that when you're nice as your identity i know that's what you were talking about before and i, I think we're all in agreement on this but it's when you use niceness as your like attractive trait and it's like i'm nice therefore i deserve good things to happen to me in life then you're then and as I was told to believe earlier in my life, yeah, so I have a big negative implications with it. The, the, I feel like there's 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 layers of, of of being nice where it's like that's um, true, like nice as like a vague like you, you know say please and thank you, but then there's like niceness in terms of like 
you you are unconfrontational. You don't take a stance on any issue. You all just I'm saying say, is, uh, I agree with everything all I'm saying anybody is, says if you're, because if you I don't, don't like confrontation. Hit, if you don't hit your significant other, she'll never know how good it is when you're not hitting her. That's what I'm saying. Mm. That's the picture I'm trying to paint. Yeah. This I mean, is retardation. This is solid. retardation. All these blanket statements about like like what will, what will a girl like like just a a girl that you've whipped up in your mind? What will she pick? Well, because gu guys don't need to be nice to each other. Niceness is useless between men. It doesn't matter. What does it is that irrelevant. even mean? What do you know what exactly what it means? It means that we care about what each other can offer to each other. On like a Nate, you know, don't you? Yeah, that's don't you, you level. Nate. I I want nah, to be nice nah. to people. It is just a hu basic human instinct to be nice to the people that you care about. This th this is where it comes down to you being Nate. Th this is a Nate being Nate thing. If you're talking about like Nate, base we were level being nice to, to everyone, each other in the yeah. chat yesterday, and it was uh, nice. Did, did you notice? For lack did of you a notice, word. Ben? And we you all may not have noticed felt better. That I did not comment. Ben, ben, okay, yesterday we were all concerned. I was saying, like, guys, I, I oh, come, have wait, an wait, issue wait. No, with how I No, it's embarrassing. Okay, I won't talk about what it was, but I specifically did not comment in a positive way. And I almost commented, like, yeah, I'm not going to be a pussy and, like, join this conversation. You were in That's there, what I did. You were in there being, being all sad about some shit. And then the rest yeah. of us were like, and the rest of us were like, yeah, we are also kind of sad about the shit. And the rest and, of us and, were and like, we oh, no, try, it's fine. We we're all going to be fine. And, and, and I know. I know. Thank God. Thank God that Nate. <laughs> did not stoop to the level of being like, yeah, you guys are okay too. It, uh, yeah, I maintained my frame, and that's mm. why I smashed the puss on the daily. <laughs> sure. That's why. So the problem here is just it's a different it's, it's a different uh, point of perspective. It's a different world mm -hmm. view. You see, like like mm -hmm. us. Well, I, don't know, I, I I'll speak for myself. Uh, I I value being nice. I value human connection. I value uh, uh, living my life to its fullest. I I, I value Me too. Uh, classical ideals. And uh, I like when the world is happy. I like when I am happy. I like good things. And that's why I like being nice, because it is an unequivocal good thing in almost every context whatsoever. We, we can get into unconditional I love. Slightly. I agree. That's, that, that's, not, that's not a morally sound thing to do. But that's, that, that's a 0.1% of, like, like there's, no, there's not a whole lot of real unconditional love. Uh, and yeah. most of it is just mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. being nice to one another, people having uh, uh, good uh, emotional connections with one another. And there's right. literally no right. reason to say that it's bad. There's literally no reason other than to just sound sanctimonious mm. and be pretentious and that, put not on true. airs not, and make yourself sound like you're, a, you're on your moral high ground. There's no reason Well, that's what you, that's what you're saying coming from your perspective, but that's, that's not a full picture. Like, some people are emotionally manipulated by other people, and it is their niceness that allows them to bend over to, to like, do what they're told. And, and, and they're, it's not always a good thing. They're, they're, you gotta watch out for that. The majority of people are just nice to one another, and they're not being manipulated or tricked due to their unbelievable stupidity of like I would holding argue, the door open for a stranger. The, I would the, argue that almost cowardice. everyone is being manipulated by someone in their life in a deep, in a deep way. That's yeah. what I would argue. You, you know, you know someone. I, I, I didn't hear the first part of that. Well, I'm just yeah. I think most people are like everyone who's dating someone is to some degree being manipulated by that person. It's just how it works. That's just how it works. It th doesn't mean it's negative or even a bad thing, but they are using their emotions and their the, the I... expectation that like the other person should be nice to them. These are like control mechanisms we use over each other via society. Yeah. And in, niceness in, in is what us. Way? Just, like like no, in, in, in I, what I'm, way? I'm, gonna, are, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not even saying it's insidious. I'm just saying that's just how people work. Yeah. This this is. I'm. I, I mean. I'm, we're already seeing that this is sort of like. Nate mm -hmm. wants to talk about Starfleet. We've got to stop this. We've got to crash, crush it <laughs> right now. Um, I would like to talk about how empathy is good, and there's not okay. enough of it on the We've internet. We've already done an empathy episode. See, see okay, oh, I, I did totally we? agree. That, uh, it's yeah. good, though. No, we didn't. What no, was we... our conclusion? Did we, uh, did we like that, empathy? That did we not like it? it? I'm still on the fence, personally. That's right. Well, let, let me just say that I actually think empathy is great, but I think that's totally different from niceness. I think they are two well, distinct things. Well, I think niceness is vague enough that it includes lots of things, and you are, like... You yes. are like um, You're focusing very on like the sexual, the, 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 the sexual courting aspect of a nice guy. That is all you're thinking about. You're not thinking mm. about anything uh, else. What, what, yeah. what can I say, my dude? I always got pussy on the mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nate, yeah. We're sending you to jail now. <laughs> <laughs> the very first PC prisoner right now, right here. <laughs> 
Um, uh, yes, lock me up. I'm too dangerous for these ladies on the streets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I am I, the I, PC I rapist. I, I think we can do an entire episode on relationships, but just related to uh, being okay. nice real quick here. Uh, mm -hmm. I am of the opinion that you can just be a normal person. And, and like Nate said, I completely agree. Just live your life and eventually mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. will come to you that have similar interests and, you know, uh, uh, are of similar mindsets. That just makes sense. Uh, be nice has nothing to do with that. Like, like you, like, well, obviously if you, if you are a nice person, you will attract other nice people or people are trying to manipulate you. I'm not trying to say that that yeah. doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that <coughs> it's not this, this whole courting via like measuring do, does, does like girls do all girls want this nice person or do all girls want someone who's like vaguely edgy do someone do all girls want someone who's rich and powerful i just think well, it's unhelpful. yeah because it's just, just objectively better blanket statements uh i think if someone says that they don't want that they're lying you can probably draw some like some like broad generalities in what like and this isn't even certain about demographics women, by the way, it's about want. People. yeah i agree um, yeah but that, that like it just I don't think it's very helpful for, for most people, especially people who are listening to this podcast who are, like, abnormal. No, 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 no. The people who listen to this podcast are, like, teenage boys, and they need to hear this shit. They need to know That's, that we just have being a nice a, guy will adults. not work. There are adults in the audience. Well, uh, okay, but... I pray. But, and, 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 I, and the boys in the no, audience, I, know I don't them. think they should I know they're there. I don't, I don't think that they should be listening to us. I don't think we're good influences. I disagree completely. I'm hmm. the best influence. Everyone should listen to me all the time. You know what? I, I just want to say that I basically, when I come out here, I am speaking to, like, young Nate. I'm trying to fix the mistakes that young Nate made in anybody who's listening, and I want them to be aware of the lessons I've learned. Well, Nate, that if is you my didn't goal. make those mistakes, you wouldn't have become Nate. But that's not necessarily a good thing. Like, if I could be the same. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Do we agree on I, that? I mean, I am a deeply broken individual, and I'm totally aware of that. Uh, and if I could make someone have the same <laughs> gorilla mindset that I have uh, now. Hang on, hang on. If yeah. you're a totally broken individual, how do we know that yeah. what you're saying is good advice? Because yeah. it is intellectually and logically sound. That is why. That is I why. don't know. If uh, you I don't think broken, so. you might be saying something else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a paradox well, no, right no, here. Okay. No, no, it is not a paradox. Just literally take my arguments and analyze them for flaws. If you don't find any, then they're fine. If there are flaws, then they are not fine. Please do this to all my arguments all the time. Uh, and I will do it to everyone else's. I, I think most of the time, when you present an argument before 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 the court here, uh, mm -hmm. most of the time uh, it's not exactly that there is like 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 a a plot hole. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's just that the point of view you're coming from and your mm -hmm. conclusions, I most of the time I don't think are anything that should be allowed in society. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you, just, you fucking. It's it's freak. your base assumptions, I yeah. think. That uh, that okay, uh, but, that are the, the that are the sticking point sometimes, not yeah. not what the actual like logical here. argument itself. Okay, yeah. I think the the main difference that we're coming at here is when I think about being nice, I kind of focus in on like the relationship aspects of niceness, whereas you guys are looking at it from a slightly broader. You guys context. are looking at it from we are looking at it from the coward's perspective. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's right. That's right. The, yeah. the blue pilled cuck perspective. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um. I think yeah. if we were yeah. being nice right now, we would be agreeing mm -hmm. with you and be saying, "Well, yeah, I guess I guess exactly. I, see where I don't want you to be nice, there, but maybe, maybe the, the, the uh, hello uh, obviously nice niceness, niceness twenty four seven is not a good. Idea, but but any emotion or any state of mind one hundred percent twenty four seven is not a good idea. Overindulgence in anything is not a good idea. But for the basic like majority of all human interaction niceness is the way to go probably okay but you know I, you know what the, the one distinction like a... i would make there is that i would put niceness below like being true to yourself always it's like always a lower priority but i'm, I'm give go on um, go on uh, here let's look i'm just, mm -hmm. I just want, to, want to grill nate and let's see some nice okay. like it's, it, examples of like, like <laughs> when you can be nice and what you would do and why mm -hmm. uh you're walking through a door. This is a classic. Um, mm -hmm. The person behind you is sort of, you know there's someone behind you. you just, are you going to hold the door open or are you going to hope for that the, the, they push forward and, and do it themselves? What do you what do? You do I, I'll tell you what I do. I analyze how far behind me the person is and determine if it is worth my time to hold the door open for them. But I'll tell you this. I almost always do a hold the door open if they're anywhere close. So, so you're being emotionally manipulated to an insane no, 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 degree no, no. by the people I behind am, you. I am, I am emotionally... 
I am emotionally manipulating them by giving <laughs> them a po by giving them a positive conditioning view of me by doing something nice for them, knowing that it could pay off in the future. I'm making an investment here. That's what I'm doing. I mean, I don't disagree that being nice mm -hmm. to people that you want them to like you is like a thing that people do. Sure. Um, the only thing is that I'm more blackpilled about why we do the things we do. I know that we're all just manipulating each other all the time, but you just call it being nice. I would say it's emotional manipulation. That's I the mean, only difference here. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree. It's just mm -hmm. I don't think about it as manipulation in like a day to day. I just think maybe I'm uh, just uh, maybe up. I should like uh, maybe I just you know I'm just like uh, I'll I'll uh -huh. do a good thing. I'll do a nice thing to this person. Maybe it'll be good for them. On maybe, the surface, maybe I'll make I'm somebody like, laugh today. Maybe I'll maybe I'll listen, you know increase like the, the 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 happiness of the world by it, like a certain amount. If, if we take the the sort of vague uh, definition of manipulation to just be like manipulation in the sense that like you change things to make certain outcomes appear, then literally like every single action that any human takes is manipulation. But I think there is a so an obvious social uh, uh, what's the word. Uh, definition of the word manipulation to be <laughs> something where you are intentionally tricking someone to do something um yes i mean that's how that's kind of how i think about it as i go about my life but so, so, so you think so you think even in in the situations where you you could just say like manipulation in the sense that like you know you, I, i'm i'm changing words mm -hmm. that i like i'm, I'm when, changing yeah, ideas yeah, I mean, in my mind to be is, words that people will like this like, like is a, a form of tricking and not just manipulation in the sense of changing I mean, in a, in a way, yes. Like, the fact that you, Munchie, don't go out and, like, like act as crazy as you do on, like, the PCP stuff just when you're out in public, I would argue is, like, the same thing as me, like, choosing to hold open doors for people who are nearby. Because, like, you don't want being the societal decent. ramifications. The thing, the thing, yeah. yes. the thing yeah. about it all is that uh, words mm -hmm. are terrible. I, I want to do a whole podcast about language because uh, sure, fuck language. Sure. It sucks. It doesn't work and I nobody uses it right. Um, but like Maybe the fact that Nate is taking the word manipulation and is uh, applying it to all these things and saying yes, this is manipulation. When <laughs> in my mind and the minds of most people, manipulation is a defi like by definition a negative thing that you do not want to be doing. Mm -hmm. That's like if you say statement. I manipulate people, that gives like this connotation of like oh here's a bad person. Mm. He thinks he's well... he, he thinks he's literally <laughs> evil and he likes it. Like that's mm -hmm. the that's the feeling the word manipulation gets even if it technically yeah. doesn't mean that it's just mm -hmm. uh language sucks and this is why i like to be i like to be edgy okay but listen listen i have prepared a statement uh of exactly how i am in real life all right here's my here's my statement i'm on the pcp my name is nate bestman i'm 27 years old i believe in taking care of myself eat a balanced diet and a rigorous exercise routine oh. <laughs> in the morning i record the procrastinators podcast and if i and if i have time i record a bonus episode i can do almost <laughs> two now after i remove after i finish recording the, the podcast uh, uh blah 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 blah. i do all this I, I go to my workout i do a three by three blah 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 who cares um okay here's the end there is an idea of a best guy ever some kind of abstraction but there is no real nate only an entity, something illusory. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable, I simply am not there. Got it. Fucking love that movie. That is the best. I watched it again like two days ago. American Psycho is the greatest movie. I literally idolize Patrick Bateman. He is my hero in every aspect. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Unironically. Uh, I don't know. I don't agree because I feel manipulated by you right now. Well, that is an emotional response, yeah, and I would yeah. urge you to crush those Na feelings. Na inside Na I, I, feel, I feel really manipulated by your speech there to laugh. I think you're really You literally are. To, you to literally be, have to, been to manipulated. Be, uh, laughing right now. That's yeah. right. That's exactly right. I recognize that you I'm really being manipulated by everyone with around that cunning me. Cunning ruse, you you just. That's did of how it that is. Joke. Look, I I'm sorry that I phrase things differently than most people, but that is how it is. That is I, how it is in real life. It is. How, how okay okay. I'm I understand. Just, I, I can understand using the word manipulation. I, I I can I can get behind just like you know it being mm -hmm. a word a meaning change. But yeah. how is it deceit? How are you deceiving me right now? Uh, well, I, I I guess the only way to argue that is deceit is to not do it because like it was just something that you wanted to do but to do it specifically to achieve an intended outcome i guess is the but, difference there let me look up what the word deceit means because i but feel even like that's there, like there, not like there bad. obviously must be some some lying I, well here. i don't even think there's a distinction because like why is it morally better to do stuff just because you want to as opposed to achieve a certain outcome there is no moral distinction there in my I, mind 
I don't think so either. That that's not. Yeah, what okay. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> oh wait, deceive. The actual <laughs> practice of deceiving some. Okay, this uses the word deceiving. Hold on. Well, that's a fucked up definition. Yeah. Fucking uh, right, continue talking while I find this. Well, you know what? I honestly don't care about any of this. I wanted to get my American Psycho joke in, and I did it. So we well, can. I, I, I'm I'm just saying that doing things because you want to. Mm-hmm. In like and and, and and doing something that you want to that is not against laws or against social convention. Mm-hmm. I see no reason to frame it as a trick or like you are doing something wrong, like or like like deceiving people. Like, okay. I don't, yeah. The, like, the, why the, would the, you? The implication whoa, 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 is that it's well, like here's... it's it's like abnormal and like not human. It's a thing humans would not do otherwise. I have a I have a I have a thought about this. Mm-hmm. What if? You know that, like, I don't know, tell, let's say telling jokes. Like, let's say mm-hmm. you know that, like, going out in public and telling jokes gets a good reaction and people like mm-hmm. it. You are not naturally yeah. inclined to tell jokes, but you learn that, like, oh, people really like it when I tell jokes. So I'm going to go out to a party. I'm going to tell jokes, be the life of the party. Everyone really likes mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Is, is, that, is that deceitful for you to go out and do that? Like be, because you know that it, that it's what people want, even if it's not like you know, what you are quote unquote naturally inclined to do. An excellent question, Ben, and it reminds me of a, the, the exact same thing can be applied to like, I mean, when people hear about like, for example, pickup artists, for example, just people who go out and really try to like meet women and like entertain them and completely consensually like get them to sleep with them by being fun and entertaining. Yeah, like people have a reaction to that, like something bad is happening there. Yeah. But literally what is the issue and it's exactly what you just said like the, the whole la- making people laugh to make people like you it is the exact same thing it and is. i would argue that there is no like wh- i don't know why anyone would even say that there's a problem with such a thing i, I would I, argue that those people are better than the people who are naturally inclined i think because they have like i think it would be out. a little what does this fucked have to do up with to niceness s- though i don't know i, I think <laughs> well, it, yeah, I, I, I mean i mean this person who's going out and telling jokes I mean, mm-hmm, are they mm-hmm. be, are they tricking you? Like, is by acting a certain I mean, way that they have like made themselves are. act because they know people like it? Is that a trick? Because it's not like because they didn't used to do that, or because they didn't they, it, 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 you can kind of argue because they're like, only doing it to get well, a specific outcome. What is not a trick? Is there anything in the world that I is don't not know. a trick? The, see, the reason really. we got onto this like line of thinking is that we were trying to determine if being nice is a bad mm. thing or not, and if this, all, if all of this stuff that we're doing is like manipulating and deceiving, but it's mm-hmm. also totally normal and everyone does it and is not bad. Mm. Um, what are we talking about? Yeah, yeah, uh, why, kinda... why is nice is bad? Nicest is bad because it's what cucks do. That's why. That's why. Just don't get cucks. Look at this guy saying the cuck word. Well, yeah. but, <laughs> but don't people well, well, don't I, people like nice people? The, the, they they like to use them. The, like the, use this them. this is off topic. This, this is off topic. But but going slightly back to, to pickup artists, I completely mm-hmm. agree with you, Nate. That like like the way you've described pickup artists, it is indeed like like who like who could fault that? Just just people being mm-hmm. nice and and consensually having sex with women. Or you yeah. know, men, wh- yeah. whatever. No like, like, yeah. there's any but, such thing. But, but <laughs> I, I feel like, what, what, what's the, what's the? I feel like pickup artists go are, have the same problem that I guess this, this, this is kind of mm-hmm. not related, but like feminists have, where it's like, sure, like, like the core ideal of like. I want women to be equal. Sure, who can agree with that? But in mm-hmm. practice, who can agree the... with that? Not me. Oh, oh fuck sure. yeah! Oh shit! <laughs> uh, sh- that, that's true. Don't take that out. Uh, amplify that. Sometimes <laughs> do. Um, but but it's just mm-hmm. like sure. Th- these the, these ideals. If you wanted to find those groups of that, like who like 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 that's just a good thing. People want that. Mm-hmm. But when, mm-hmm. in practice, a lot of people do, uh, that that's not all people think about when they hear the term pickup artist or fitness. They think of all of the pickup artists or fitness that they've seen who are not I mean, nice people. Even even pickup artists that I rather like. Like there's this one guy who calls himself Tyler Durden uh, <laughs> or Tyler RSD after the guy from fucking Fight Club. Uh, like even he. Well, you know what? Honestly, it might not have actually been him. So take his name out of it. Maybe he's unrelated. But I have heard some pickup guys who like promote this stuff uh, or like teach it say like that it's okay to like lie about like who you are. And like I get the argument there because like you're just like, ooh, it's all a fun like crazy night out and you're just giving like a fun experience to people. But that's always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I don't exactly. like that stuff. So like, again, all that stuff, like you're absolutely right. Labels are bad. 
Fuck the labels. I'm just I'm I'm using it as shorthand, which is unfortunate because sure, it will give sure. these kind of you know connotations. I, but, I was having a conversation about this the other day. We're like mm-hmm. like like I, I I again it's all about labels and and when you say like uh you know you just want to go out and have sex, which is fine, not a, a bad mm-hmm. thing. That's fine. But there is obviously a pickup artist culture, and I don't I don't know that culture like back of hand. I don't re- I don't really know what's going on. I've seen mm-hmm. movies where pickup artists are like bad people, and I know Nate who you know who is a bad artist. person. It was a nice person no he's a nice person so yeah you know I, I i don't really know what the fuck's going on i'm just saying that like i don't think it's unreasonable that people have a semi bad interpretation of pickup artists people just, can just have based on the fact yeah. of, like, you know, of what i know about the culture which is I'm, limited i mean sure. i mean there's okay. there's good ones and bad ones and mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. your, your opinion of the whole thing is going to be like which you've had experience with you know. I don't even consider myself really related to the community. I just I I was there and learned some stuff and then you know like moved on with my life because I hate labels anyway. Um, but anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's let's get back to why yeah, uh, being why nice is, sucks. Tell we're, me why niceness is good. What's there to like? There's well, nothing. People <laughs> like it. Like if okay, here's yeah. here's an argument. Uh-huh. If people think that you are nice, then they will like you more. And and uh, they will probably <laughs> seek out your company more. Yes, and that's yeah. pretty cool. Right? I mean, it's degree, not universal. Some people like think, ah, he's just nice. I want a fucking freak. You know, like, so, <laughs> some people. Some <laughs> freak. Yeah. Some people nice like the streets. like are that, like that, put that, off that's by That's kind of me. But... That's kind of me. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. That's I yeah. feel that. But like, like it, it can be kind of boring. But it is just nice mm-hmm. if you know, I mean, if you know, if you know that someone is is cool. But like in person, like say there's like an internet person, and they're like wacky and, and edgy and cool and stuff. Well, and, here's but, one. But in person, they're like it, they're they're nice to hang out with, and they're not like abrasive and and shouting at you all the time. I mean, I'm not I'm not really trying to show this. The obvious is more complicated. Than this, but like Joseph Anderson making all his like millions of long ass videos about video games, uh, like and they're all like just very similar like synopsis and he goes over shit and if he likes it or doesn't like it or whatever. But then you got Matthew Matosis, who, they, you know, they say that, like, Joseph Anderson is, like, Matthew Matosis 2.0. But then you He's got like Matthew Matosis. Matthew with, Matosis. Well, that's what I'm saying, because he comes out with the, the Sonic Dreams collection video that's like, what the fuck is this? Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, like, that's, like, the coolest video ever. That's got so much more personality. And it's like, you know who this guy just, is because he's playing just, this kind of game. <laughs> I, I, it's I awesome. think about I think about Joseph Anderson and Matthew Matosis all the time, and how <laughs> and how obsessed I'll ta- and how obsessed. I'll ta- maybe yeah it's weird it's weird how much I think about it uh, like okay. how I'll take a Joseph Anderson video and I'll be like mm-hmm. okay well this this has slaked my lust for the time being but mm-hmm. but like it, it doesn't it doesn't give me that deep soul satisfaction that Matthew Matosis does. You just All need right. your fix. You just need your fix. I do. A really long <laughs> video game analysis. I mean, they I are good. Do, dude. I do like them. Where does where does Noah Caldwell lie on this? Noah spectrum? Caldwell mm-hmm. is like mm-hmm. God. It's where does like, the angry video like game God. nerd fit into this? <laughs> yeah. Noah, Noah Caldwell. He's like. I don't. Is he worse? Like it's like worse? it's like if you want a version of Matthew Matosis or Joseph Anderson who doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Noah. Noah will it. just he'll just go off about like any, I don't know. I actually listened to like his travel blogs the other day. I listened for like four yeah. hours just him it, talking about like driving up the West Coast. I was like, uh, mm. yeah. Is Noah Caldwell Gervais a nice guy? Is he a nice? Absolutely. Person? I think. I mean, so. I can tell. I he think looks. so. He looks like he's uh, on the Soylent diet. <laughs> if you know, so no, I got, I got no hatred for the guy. I got, no, he seems fine. He seems fine. He's a big boy. He's a large man. He could I'm, crush I'm, me. I'm thinking of like in terms of at a party, if if someone's, you know, you're just talking mm-hmm. to people and somebody is just sort of like, uh, they're kind of boring, but they're polite. I think when you think of like the person who was not abrasive but mm-hmm. was also boring, you think of them as the nice person and you forget about them. But if somebody is like they're really interesting and they're also polite, you think, oh, that guy's a great guy. It's just a different word people use. That's they true. They say great instead of nice, even though the, the the level of politeness, the level of like, um, what do you call it, uh, manners or something, like mm-hmm. this, this is the same amount of stuff. It's really just, uh, like added on to what sort of person they are and how cool they are. If if they're you know, an, a polite I... person who is cool, they're great, and I... if they're a polite person who is not cool, they're nice. Mm-hmm. I have an anecdote that I would like to say from my real life where, okay, okay, as I'm sure everyone in the audience knows, I hang around mostly freaks and geeks and assholes. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I'm in the PCP, 
Uh, I hang around mostly people who are, who are sardonic, who are sarcastic, and who are, mm. you know, vaguely edgy, and it's great. I, that's the kind of people who I want to be around. I, I like uh, biting comedy. I like biting people. I like to consume <laughs> flesh. I am a vampire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Feed me chocolates! Yummy! <laughs> <laughs> um, but there is this one person who, who I know in real life who is the exact opposite of this. He is just a nice wholesome kid and Mm -hmm. i i i don't think he's my best friend i don't think like like we like we uh we're just we're just sort of uh uh, good friends and i'll go to him sometimes and he'll he'll be talking about how he likes like you know the newest marvel movie and you know all all, all that kind of shit i'll Mm -hmm. I'll be non along like yeah sure just it's just a lot of saccharine stuff but it's Mm -hmm. nice he is a nice person and i need that refreshness in my life so i can better you know accustom what's the word better appreciate uh, the biting uh, sarcasm and irony and uh, insincerity of uh, my my time here on the internet. So it's nice and, to have people in your life who are just genuine people that you can just rely on to uh, you know bring some life are, back are, to your life. Are you talking about your Mewtwo? Yes, I'm talking about my Mewtwo. Thank you, Hippo. I'm <laughs> my my Mewtwo it. from Pokemon Go. Thank you. I I would like like uh, I know that we in the PCP are like edgy and stuff but i feel like we are nice in the f- in the sense that we know each other well enough that we will not cross lines we will be like sarcastic but all of us can take that level of sarcasm and we all know how much you know everyone can take sure so like we we, know each we'll, other. We'll, we will be like uh you know joking around like insulting each other and it's not like fake completely but it's like at a level that you know all of us can can understand that it's not mm-hmm. really like a like a like a spiteful sort of like actual attack mm-hmm. and and that's what that i still feel of of that as being nice cuz it's well, you know, like that's... it's just being friendly and chummy and it's like it technically you put that the same chum. words in in a different in in a, in, a, in a different context it would be mm-hmm. like horrible but like because we're okay with it it's nice and it's normal. We talked sure. about this a little bit in the friendship episode, the 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 one we did at Radcon, and yeah. like I, I think this comes up sometimes, and I, I again I do think we have a slightly different perspective on it, uh, um, even within our group. Whereas like I don't really see, I I think there there's two things going on. When you're like in a friendship, you want to be generally pleasant because like you don't want to be you know t- overly rough on like your friends and like make them make like like their experience of hanging out with you like just generally negative. Obviously you don't want to do that. But like at the same time, you don't want to like like I feel like the people in your life who can really like challenge you that you will actually like listen to and like respect their opinions of for me it's mostly my friends. Like, I expect I my friends Absolutely. to be the ones to... Like, because, like, the person you're dating, like, uh, again, not to be rude or anything, it's just, like, when you're dating someone, they've got an incentive to, like, not piss you off and, like, make sure everything's going smooth and I don't really trust I, their opinion on anything. <laughs> I, I don't but, know like, if this is an inherent... Qual- all, the, all these things you've ever I don't know if they're inherent qualities. And you seem to treat them like they are, they are just part of the relationship. I, I think they the will in, exist are. inherently to various degrees. I, I do think they are basically inherent. Maybe some people can squash them and make them really really tiny but there's always going to be an incentive to just like be nice to for example the person you're dating well, but that's that's you in any relationship it's, right yeah, I, yeah it's, you're it's right with friendships right. as well like we have an incentive to not like ruin our friendships because uh then we wouldn't have any friends you're not wrong god knows i don't tell all the criticisms to you guys that yeah, i like, could like, oh, like if, oh, if we, boy. Were, if we uh, were like super yeah, critical same. at each other all the time we would uh-huh. all be econ and it would be fucking horrible <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess i I would just argue that with friends, I, I feel I find it's like a little easier to be more like roughly honest with like with them as opposed and to like the person you're dating. I don't think that's necessarily a, a, a reflection of all relationships. Well, obviously, it's not going to be literally all. I'm talking about a general trend here, but okay, okay whatever. I, I didn't it doesn't matter. For, yeah, for me personally, for me personally, I just want to say I don't know Econ. Uh, I just hear things. I don't hate him. Shout no. out to Econ. <laughs> Shout, Shout out, out to... to Econ. I still haven't gotten uh, my hot sauce, which is fine. Uh, who? Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, Literally, uh, who? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I pretty much said all I wanted to say on on this particular subject. I think I think people get where I'm coming from. Like I come at this whole thing from the idea of like I, I see like being nice as like 
a boring trait that is like some it's so, like it's being nice is nice once you're already like in a relationship and like you already know people but like niceness doesn't like grab attention it doesn't make you stand out it doesn't no. really help you achieve major steps forward in your life but, I but don't it, think it is it, a sustaining thing. but i don't think it hurts anything it, it I, can I, hurt if you it, it's not a large it. positive factor but it is indeed mm -hmm. a positive factor you would you enjoy you, well not you you but like you know mm -hmm. the, the general populace would probably enjoy someone who is nice to someone who is not nice in most the, i mean it, the real thing I, the real thing is like uh, getting mm -hmm. a balance between being nice and being real if somebody is yes. nice yes. Yes. all the time to the point where you can't tell when they're actually being sincere about their niceness. Well, isn't isn't that interesting? Being critical that is and still deceitful. be nice. Being critical isn't that is not when you are not nice. Well, it's true, but like 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 say somebody is like uh, saying, "Oh, my videos suck," and then somebody goes up to them saying, "No, they're not," but in reality, they actually. Agree. Yeah, I mean that's the interesting thing. You're setting a dichotomy between like honesty and niceness, which is kind of. I mean, I guess there's just I like mean, raw realness. I know. Realness. I, like like I, here's here's my one like black pill mm -hmm. thing that I had okay. in my in my brain is mm -hmm. that um. Oh, I almost forgot it. Oh, I did forget it. Fuck. <laughs> uh, dark dark nice. Souls? <laughs> uh, no, no. You went hollow. Uh, is this uh, podcast the Dark Souls of the PCP? It, 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 it is. To me. It I'll, really I'll, is. I'll, I'll, I'll think of it, please. To okay. record and I'm sure to listen to. <laughs> yeah, really easy. Oh, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Being okay. nice, being nice sometimes is just cowardly because yeah, um, I, I you, you want... You, uh, if somebody's upset and or like they are like potentially going to be upset if you get too real with them and you are mm -hmm. not nice to mm -hmm. them, um, it, either by not saying anything or being nice, um, to sort of like placate them is cowardly because y all you're doing is preventing yourself from being upset that they are upset. I, I, That's I right. Completely agree. Totally true. I'm I, I'm not proposing that you have to be nice 100 percent of the time. I never have, and mm -hmm. I I'm I even like there are a lot of cases where being nice is a completely terrible idea. Again, to like placate your friends, make them mm -hmm. uh, just feel that they are secure in and bad things. You know, like if their videos suck, you should probably tell them. But I'm like there are different ways to go about that. And I feel like this word nice yeah. comes through. You can say, hey, your videos suck now. Lol. Wins Rayman <laughs> too. Or <something laughs> <laughs> As I've heard every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're um, your friend the Scottish hypocrite to deal with that, dude. Like, what? You the know, fuck? Munchie, or you can just I will... be like, "Hey, like, I noticed your videos are like are like this lately. Uh, can mm -hmm. we please get some more like magenta uh, filters? I think that really help things out." Yeah, agreed. You know what? I'm happy to concede, Munchie, that I come into this thing extremely biased just against the word nice and i like growing like it's like it's my daemon it is my daemon that i grew up with and now i just despise it across what? the board but really it's the right what? way my daemon. my my daemon my my daemon you know this yeah. is the same you know, what, the like, old like, English like, like an amber spyglass uh, yeah that yeah that's right my my british daemon demon that's okay. uh weird. That, that's what it is um, no daemons are nice so they help you out no uh, only only the sup so you bus. Um, but moving on. I just want to there. talk about my Stay. favorite works of young adult <laughs> fiction, guys. Uh, well, Percy stop. Jackson. Okay, <laughs> shut up. Uh, what I was going to say was I am definitely wrong in that I am way oh, too black and white. Take that clip right there. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, delete that from the podcast. I'm definitely way too personally biased, and the correct way to go is exactly what you guys have been saying with like your more nuanced interpretation of and like subjective and like case by case I... basis usage of being nice because it obviously makes sense a lot of the time, uh, and I just kind of hate it just in a biased, emotional way, which N is wrong. Nay, I, I, I'm definitely give it, ready to give you some leeway here, because, because it was really eye-opening mm -hmm. when we were talking about how, how like, like uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the friendship episode, like, like about love, where yeah. just, like, definitions for world, words have to be very exact for you. Yeah, and, yeah that, that's true. Which I don't think is, is really wrong. And, and a lot of words are really vague, and that is a mm -hmm. problem. But I think that, like, you can usually ascertain the general definition of most things. And I, I like... utterly, I can't wait to do the language episode because I utterly despise that fuzziness that exists inherently in the I, I, usage I of these words. It's, it's yeah. not, I hate it so good. much. I think it is probably the biggest problem of our, of the modern age, but we'll talk about that later on. Um, that I would like to do that episode. That sounds yeah. nice. 
Uh, well, sounds nice very is nice. nice. Debunked. Niceness debunked. Gone. <laughs> Removed from real life. Uh, never Removed more scientific shall field. be seen. <laughs> and if, if you want to be a nice guy, you can go pledge to our Patreon. Yeah, you don't That'll need be to be a nice guy. You can be a cold, calculating, maniacal fiend to get those bonus episodes where you hear all the real black pill shit that's too hot for TV. <laughs> r r right, right now, we're tricking you into, into donating the that's BCP. That's right. I, that's what money is. It's a fucking evil. Money is lie. Money, money is lie. Money is lie. <laughs> money is lie. That's hashtag money is lie. Uh, correct. It's also the only objective lie. good in this world. Yeah. Dude, uh, all whoa, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Manipulate. 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 <laughs> uh, that, that's I my did. name. Hashtag you found it. Manipulate. Where's the L? Okay, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Figure it out. <laughs> the hashtags. Are we done? Uh, yeah, any we any closing yeah. statements here? Don't we got we to gotta go to questions, right? Well, well of yeah. course. I just mean done with our, our, our main thing I... here. Ben, ben, what's your closing statement here, Ben? I want to uh, hear you. Oh, shit. Um... <laughs> uh well um amber spyglass was definitely the best of the three <laughs> uh, are, you're not wrong are, are, are you guys wrong. too old to remember percy jackson and the lightning thief are you guys yeah too old? uh yes. yeah that, yes i, I have yeah. read the great gatsby yes <laughs> shout out the to movie. all the twinks in the audience who know shit about percy jackson <laughs> Uh, excellent. Okay, done. <laughs> Moving on, everybody. It's time to go to those beloved questions. That, that we all from, love so much. That we all love. Hey, everybody. Uh, uh, Patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Give us your money. Get into Co the patron lounge so you can give us questions question that we will read. from Twitter so we can get that out of the way. We, we, can, we can wipe that shit off our shoe. We can move Indeed. on to the, to the delicacy that is the questions bar. And the, you know, the he, here's, a, here's a pretty good... I mean, this is... I, I, you know what? I don't know if I even read this one before. Like, there's a bunch of questions about, like, Radcon and stuff. Just, like, things like, will you do Radcon again? Like, Radcon 4? Will you do Radcon 2 Electric Boogaloo, the fourth one? These uh, cowards. How dare they appreciate what? Radcon? Like, who, uh, who do they think they are? They're trying yeah. to they trick us into thinking that they us. like Radcon. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. How dare they impede, uh, impose their emotional likes and dislikes <laughs> mm. and let us know how they feel about the content that we have generated for them so as to guide our production of future content that is evil and it's that is core i, I, uh, I wonder why people think that Rad this Cosmo is the Cosmo. last one did, did anyone? I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Because people are yeah. saying, like, will there be another one? Like, wh why is that even well, a question? I mean, maybe just because it took so long for the this one to happen. Wait, like, that's over true. A year, you know? We did, man, we did spend, man, it was like a whole year. Because Radcon 1 happened, and then, like, three or four months later, Radcon 2 happened. Yeah, so, you I, know, it's weird you know. to think I mean, about that now. Yeah, it it's weird. weird. I think it's really just because we wanted to do it immediately, and we started it. The, the, like, the first one did not have a Kickstarter. The second one did. Well, because so like you, you it can't just, like put two Kickstarters really close to each other. It's because Digi and Jesse just were doing their Kickstarter, and then that just got turned into Radcon too. So it was like a big. It like we didn't plan that one. It just kind of happened uh, on its face. So you know, I, but we are definitely going to work to make these happen certainly more often than I, they I think uh, the, happen. I think yet. the ideal uh, audience don't take this as fact. J j just mm, the ideal mm. thing that I think that we all would like to go for is like every six months or so. Though, though that's probably yeah. unrealistic. Uh, I, I think that's maybe, a good, I think nice. that's a good middle ground. Mm -hmm. I'd sure like that if we could do that. Um, yeah. And hey, maybe if Radcon HQ happens, I mean, PCP HQ happens, I mean, that, that certainly changed things. Who knows uh, how often we do it? I mean, I, I like it to be a special thing, you know, as sure. opposed to just yeah. like, it's Radcon every day, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, but there's one other question I wanted to read on here. Th th this will be the actual real question um, from the peeps on the Twitter. So, at Cult of the Yellow One asks, Nate, if you had a behelet, would you use that shit to sacrifice the other PCP members to transcend your humanity? Of course the, you would. Here's the real would. answer. It would be morally bankrupt of me not to do it. I have to do it because your lives are objectively less but valuable Nate, than the Nate, good I, I don't, can do. I don't blame you. I would do the thank exact you. same thing in a heartbeat. Well, well thank uh, you, Ben. Well, all right. What is the behelot? Well, the, what, the one what, problem... Uh, the, 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 the one is, problem... It, it's, oh, okay. it's a thing from Berserk. Uh, mm, basically, gross. a guy uses it, de <laughs> destroys his friends, and gains ultimate power. But see, that's the problem right there. The problem is that the behelot chooses the things that you care about most in life, and therefore the PCP is going to be fine. You guys won't be hurt at all. <laughs> dab, dab, dab. 
fucking I mean, destroy. That's, that's good for me. <laughs> wait, what? what, what, it, um, what are you saying oh, that the Bay Hill just you know wouldn't want? Oh wait, the, you no, no, don't no. even like us. I'm, is what you're I mean, saying? That's, no, no, that's no. what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, yeah, but Nate, but Nate, this means that yeah. the, the Bay Hill will dis- will stop Starfleet from ever happening. No. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, I, I don't know how. It, I think the Behillet would like make Starfleet happen, but kill like the problem is though. I'm so black pilled. I don't care about nothing, man. I don't care about nothing. Who 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 can even take? Only a true it, cynic can wield. It would, the it would just if, take if, your yeah. sunglasses. No, if, 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 you if could I never had... wear sunglasses. You'd live forever, but you could never wear sunglasses again. That would be devastating. And Action Giraffe would die. It, action Giraffe and no, Logan. Fuck. Garen Logan and Kamina would be erased from existence. Now I'm if, I had, if I had the, mm-hmm. the, the, the ballet TA, uh, I, I would wish for all the chocolate in the world. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Feed me yummy snacks. Um, excellent. Well, I there like you this go. new character, Munchie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. I only need the yummiest of foods. Um, uh, good. Uh, well, let's go to the fucking good. patrons now. Let's go to the real <laughs> shit now. Oh, uh, that out of the way. Oh. Uh, okay, what do we got? Read me, feed me, chocolate uh, questions from the uh, patron uh, lounge. Th- 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 from the patron lounge, uh, Cicero, uh, do you guys think competition, like, like, cap, like, proper noun, competition is a good or bad thing? Lay, does it help you improve faster or does it hinder your improvement in creativity? Competition is always good. Competition is great. I would um, say it's always. Read, I mean, it, it, read mm. Bakuman. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, that's it's not true. always good. Uh, it's like very like it, good. Most in the time. worst case scenario, a competition that is like too steep can make you discouraged because you're like, well, I'm never gonna be as good as these guys. Oh, oh okay. you know, yeah. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Uneven competition is usually bad, but like, like if you're on an mm. even playing field. Well, okay, it depends on what he means. Like, d- like does he mean like literal like trophies? Like this is a professional sports competition, or does he just mean like? Uh, rivalries between friends to see who can do I mean, something. I mean, it sounds like in the case of us, he means like, just for example, like the, the quote-unquote rivalry does going he mean on like between members of the PCP. Because mm-hmm. like, like capitalism a, depends on you, it you and know it's really would, good. You know so. what kind of competition would really improve my life is if Patreon had some fucking competition. Damn right it would. Same yeah. with YouTube. Same with you. Okay, I was just thinking about this. Like, Michelle has YouTube Red and like how many millions of times has everyone said like, God, I wish I could like close my phone and still have YouTube play so I could like save the battery life and stuff like that function already exists and it's only for YouTube red people uh, so like you ha- so you have to pay money for it but so like the reason competition is good like we need a YouTube competitor so that there's another app that does the exact same thing as YouTube so that like they that other company can give away that service for free so that YouTube is pressured to make it available to everyone that is how we get better stuff through competition forcing like the market to evolve and like you know, all these things get cheaper and more accessible and they have to innovate I mean, and stuff. Already, yeah. YouTube, I mean, definitely that would help YouTube get better quicker. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure that they really want to try and find ways to make this, everything they do, much mm-hmm. uh, cheaper to, to, to do because of how, how expensive yeah, it is yeah. to host video. So, like, I don't think of they're going to stop until they're actually making, like, big money and then they can just rest on their laurels. I mean, but if they had competition, I mean, it would, obviously, it would it, be good, definitely. To, for, to for, do for, that. for the specific kind of like feature stuff, like everyone wants this YouTube Red feature. And I really think the reason why it's not available to the public, that it's like gated behind stuff, is because no one is offering that service at like a lower price or or even for free. And like the reason that like smartphones are like now accessible is because like everybody started making smartphones and it has driven the price down. So now it's like affordable for the average person and stuff. Uh, otherwise, you'd have like one if only one company like owned like smartphone technology, like they could just, you know, price that shit up crazy high, however they wanted to. And everyone would want it. But it's because, you know, we've got the competition of one like fucking iPhones and I mean, Androids and stuff. You already kind of got that with iPhones. Like, like well, yeah. people just live one like if they're an iPhone, they will never even think about getting a, an Android. True. True. And they will pay all the money. Because, like, yeah, I mean, it is a slightly different service. Like, iPhones just, like, work automatically, and they don't take the kind of... Th- like, they kind of lock shit down so you can't fuck it up, which decreases freedom for people who, like, want to mess with their phones and stuff. But, I mean, whatever. Y- you get the idea. But for competition, like, among us as, like, creators, I think it's generally good. Because, I mean, all the time, I'm always thinking of, like... I kind of, in my mind, always have, like, a milestone I'm trying to reach. And some of it is, like, people who had, like, ooh, it sure be nice to, like, pass that guy. Heh <laughs> uh, I'm not just going to say, uh, I think I have just passed, or I'm about to pass, uh, Digibrony After Dark. That's, like, a milestone in my mind. Mm. Uh, you know, you know. 
So shout out to my boy Digi. Uh, How get many dunked. subscribers does Jeb Bush have? Because <laughs> that, that's my goal is to always um, be under how Jeb many, Bush. How many electoral <laughs> college votes are there? That no many. Fly. He got them my, all, baby. He got them all. <laughs> all right. My, my milestone right now is to get more than ten thousand views on a video that I post. You've done that you, though. You know, before. I have not. I, know, but only I have not like thought about. Years. I have okay. not thought about my YouTube in a while. But I am like creeping up to ten k. I could probably hit ten k without that much trouble if I like put my mind to it. Dude, no, and with your fucking lecture Please coming, don't. I huh? think. Uh, and with your com- your fucking lecture coming, I think my, that's. Oh, uh, the, oh, you know what? The lecture is gonna. Yeah, the lecture is gonna blow no. that shit out of the water. <laughs> um, now I was, Ben will be above me. But again. I have a couple oh, of video no. things that I have kind of been meaning to do at some point, and like mm, mm. I could, yeah, I could just do those. Like maybe, maybe after the lecture comes out, and like I start getting more hits, I'll like put out some more of that. I don't know. Um, Whatever makes the yeah, green. I bet I bet I'll hit 10k when the lecture comes out. Hell yeah! Right. What, are, what are you at right now? Uh, eight eight something. Yeah, okay. It's not unreasonable at all. It gets uh, anywhere close to the views the other one to got. Me. Uh, no. <laughs> am I? I'm subscribed to Munchie. I, I think I'm subscribed to. In fact, I know I am. I'm I subscribed I am. to all y'all. I, yep. I, I, I have two K. Please unsubscribe so I can go back to having no K. <laughs> all right, uh, all right another of, question. Th- th- there are a lot of good questions in the questions bar. Oh, like but- this one. Uh, Chirpsky is moving castle. Favorite anime? Favorite anime? Oh my god. Chirpsky? No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and, oh, oh, it's got it's got a bunch of reaction emojis with just the word shit reacting to that. Oh, there you go. You Stop. see, the people know. The people know. Um, but but most of them I do <laughs> not have a good answer for. Uh, like this, Bozoella Finnegan. Uh, what is something you could never forgive someone for? Making asking that question in the patron lounge. <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. No, this is, that, a, no, question. This is a good question. The previous one. Um. Oh, um, ask me. Ask me I, favorite anime. I mean, there's yeah. there's there's obvious things like killing my family. Like like yeah. Uh, but I'm trying to think of like the least that I would. I never could forgive, forgive that. For. <laughs> I could. If never, it was just bad. <laughs> I could never forgive someone for something like something like um, probably like. Telling like, people like, like, what I've done, like like <laughs> ruining my reputation or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm with yeah. You. Or or showing someone my YouTube channel at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty high. That's pretty high. Uh, just like me. Um, I. Same. That's a doing weed. I could never forgive you for <laughs> yeah. doing weed, anyone. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not too I far off think. from that, pal. I'm not too far <laughs> off from that. Yeah. In I real believe. life. I believe you, man. If you do weed, my perception of you will always be colored. That is not a joke. <laughs> yeah. Colored green. And we yes. know much you ain't too fond of the colored, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think. I mean, you know, like, I'd be very deeply upset, possibly forever, if someone, like, like fucked with my relationship in some way. You know, like, fucked my girl. Like, that would definitely upset me in a massive way. Sure. Um, you know, that'd be bad. That'd be real bad. Uh, and that's where my mind goes first, because I'm a deeply insecure man about my 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 sex life, and that's why I'm obsessed with it and have deep rooted fears related to it all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, you know, things related to that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I feel, I feel like stuff, it would be. Concerned. I feel yeah. like it would be something like that. It's just I haven't had like one of those things happened to me yet. Like, I've, I've yeah. gotten mad at people, and I've been like, oh, you ooh, know what? I'll never forgive you. But then I'm like, ah, that, it doesn't actually matter that much. Yeah, that's really, I think that's really what it is, though. Like, if I was dating someone, and they really, like, cheated on me in, like, a deeply humiliating and fucked up way, mm-hmm. that would definitely be one of the worst things, I think. Outside of, like, fucking, like, mutilating me, locking although, me in a sex dungeon, and, like, torturing me for the rest of my life. Like, that'd be although, pretty bad. Are you saying you don't <laughs> want to be in a sex dungeon? In, in, <laughs> well, in, let's in, say in, a in, non-sex in, dungeon. I'm allowed oh, no yeah, sex. Okay. Now, that's a nice Nightmare. Yeah. Um, it's I, like I, like in a, in a perfect... prepare to be locked in a dungeon for the rest of your life and tortured. A, a sex dungeon? No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. 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 Great. Right. I, I, I feel like in a perfect down. world, in a, in, a, in a perfect world, um, yeah. I would be able to forgive really anything. Yeah. I, like, I, I would, I'm like, yeah, I would, like, forgiving, which I don't a think lot of the is time, good. when you have like rage in you about a person, mm-hmm. all it does is like make your own life kind of annoying. That's true. Whenever you think about that person, you go, oh, you twitch and you like, and ooh. you and you squeeze your hand like Arthur. Ooh, and, ooh I have a, uh, like, I have a, I have a Buddhist. I would rather ben, be able to Gib just is finishing. About it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, Gib. I have uh, a Ben. I have a Buddhist mm. saying about that. 
It's mm. like mm. It's not like, everyone went to foreign language class, Ben. <laughs> you, you, it's like no anger, like holding on to anger and like hoping for revenge is like ho- is like holding on to a hot coal, hoping that you will throw it at your enemy. You know, yeah, that is good. Yeah, but uh, it just I've, but it hurts you in the meantime. I've got I've got another excellent quote. Uh, 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 fear leads to anger. Mm. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Get yeah. out of here, Yoda from the prequels. <laughs> um, correct. I don't like the prequels. They'll never forgive them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something they could never forget. Well uh, said. I, he, here's something. I, if you watch Star Wars, do not try to be my friend. It will only lead <laughs> to you being six feet under the fucking ground. <laughs> Star I feel Wars, the I same way. Correct. Star Wars Opposite is not me. something that I want to invite into my life. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, uh, okay, hey, f- there's another question here that I want to read. This, sure. is, this is a short one. I, I've been wanting to comment on this in some public way for a while now. Jalen Harris asks, who started the sunglasses meme, Nate or Digi? Now, I'd be happy to hear your guys' opinions on this, but we all know that a little man named Keg Standard started a particular sunglasses meme long before any of this shit began. And since but, the start, since the start of Best Guy Ever, his sunglasses have been a defining characteristic of the channel, even if, and I think that was before Digi ever started doing sunglasses things. I wish Digi was here to comment. Nate, I'd like to hear did, his opinion. Did, did you request no. that Keg have the shutter shades, or did I give him them? I uh, don't remember. I think that might have been my, I think I might have gone and been like, hey, what if he had some shutter shades? I'm happy to give you credit for coming if up with shutter shades. If he had some flutter shades. shades. And, 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 and but, things you know, were never the same. I really think that I came up with those. Sunglasses. I really what? think that I suggested those because I was really into Kanye at the time. Yeah, and I specifically said like I, Kanye I, shades. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure. I, I could believe that maybe you suggested it. But but in either case, Sh- whoever shades are very it. different than sunglasses, especially in their modern incarnation, the PCP. Okay, okay. Even if that's true, though, how far back does the Digi sunglasses meme go? Because Best Guy Ever start like the the iconography of Best Guy Ever is immediately defined by the sunglasses of the guy that was that was right out of the gate. And I would say that was significantly before Digi started his sunglasses thing. I give myself full credit. Well, when um, did Digi start the sunglasses? I, Do I don't really have know. any idea. You know of that? what? Maybe Jesse. Because he wore sunglasses in That's not videos. a defining characteristic of Jesse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you know what I hate? You know what, what I hate? The fact that so many of you guys wear sunglasses is that it means that I can never wear them. Because then I would be like, oh, you too. Well, that's not true. It, you as well. We could you just be a bunch, well. of, a bunch of sunglass dudes. Okay, but I will say that currently I am the most consistent sunglass guy. It's like it, my thing. It's like my thing now. Well, I sure. really it's sunglasses. Digi's thing too. He's always drawn off the sunglasses. Digi fucking stole it from me at uh, uh, Race Trader. But he's got I, I'm, I'm inclined to. Hmm. Don't you fucking say? Don't you fucking say? I think you did say. I think you did do yeah. it first. That's yeah. But I, I think. Damn right. It, it come. Yeah. Fuck it. Die. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Question. Yeah. End. It's over. Okay, yeah. next question. What uh, do we uh, got? Oh, 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 Marasu, I, Boyoko, Okayo, Gazaimon says, What is the biggest missed opportunity at Radcon? Not recording the fucking Cluster Punk fashion runway. I yes. really want sort of I exists. spent $140 yeah. on that shit. Oh, you were, you were talking about it before yeah. and the whole time, and it just didn't it's, happen. Yeah. Is it a missed opportunity or is it like a fucked opportunity? Because we. What do like, you mean? We we just had too much stuff booked. We would have done it if we had the time. Well, okay, okay. It's not real, like we forgot about real it. Real talk. If we had scheduled, I mean, I, we got a ton done. We deserve like no criticism for the amount of stuff that was produced at Radcon. Yeah, that was but like one of the But if we only had worked better, we, we could have produced more stuff. Well, uh, it was on the fucking schedule. It was on the schedule. We didn't but... fucking stick to the schedule for shit. We yeah, got everything yeah, done, we but we we tried. Like I made it in the hopes we'd stick to it, but we did not. We did not. Uh, and you know, like. I, I mean, I was there to make sure I got my shit done, and I did. You know, yeah, it was I, I so. Mean, I mean, you know, same. I, I, I yeah. know the stuff that I need to get done. The Cushion Punk Fashion Runway is supposed to be like a like a PCP thing, but I, but I, it would have been cool. It would have been. You cool, know what? You I know what? Like Put a fucking feather in that one and save it because we could do it again and, someday. And, 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 and you know what? Tbh, like like because Digi didn't know about it. Like like Digi would have been the only person that could have rivaled me. I mean, that is true. That is true. Mm-hmm. So, like, it, it, it was sort of a fledgling idea that needed a little bit more expanding and, like, oh, God. being like, we're doing it I now. Gotta get, Everyone signed up. I gotta get svelte. I gotta get svelte for next Radcon so I can not look like a fucking fat piece of shit on the Cluster I... Punk fashion run. 
Oh, yeah. Jackie, Jackie just got me. Okay, Nate, you know about, um, you know mm-hmm. my pink chucks? Yeah. yeah they're like right, fucking right, right. faded as shit and falling apart. Mm-hmm. Jackie got me some new ones. They are, they are neon. They are mm-hmm. vibrant day glow pink chucks and they are, they are coming the on the, on the fashion runway. I, 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 cool. I want this. I want Sick. everyone to like for RagCon 4, everyone to bring their fucking A game and bring the f- most fucking. We'll see if you. We'll I mean, see. I didn't even know I had to prepare anything. I, I guess I just didn't consider myself part of it. Uh, but, well, yeah, I mean, uh, you don't have to be. But yeah, I know. I know. The only problem with me is that uh, a suitcase space. Like I, I only sure. just managed to get everything that I brought to RagCon. Well, you could bring a second suitcase and check it. I we could, could budget but for like, it. You know, full of full of stuff. One outfit. It's I don't know. Well, would one outfit really take up that much space in your suitcase? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I feel like these are solvable issues, but we can we can this worry about that later. Out. I, I, I have but one. That, this was one for their history books. For me. I am sad. The one, the only thing I am personally really sad didn't get made at Radcon was I really wanted to do otaku workouts with Digi. I really oh, wanted to do another yeah. workout Ooh. video, which we did not. I end didn't up know doing. that was on the docket. Like, Digi came up to me as like, Nate, I want to do blah, 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 all this stuff that I don't care about. But then he was like, but otaku workouts. I'm like, yeah, that sounds fun. Um, but y- we just didn't y- have time. This, this, didn't there have time. are two other ones I have. Well, continue. Okay. Not a missed opportunity per se, but kind of, is that I mm. do regret not being on Art Apologies, um, which yeah, I'm yeah. greatly looking forward to listening to. I, I wanted to be on that. Well, after I saw, like, the, the behind-the-scenes footage of, of mm-hmm. Digi... Uh, and 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 also like that that behind the scenes like clip of him like filming you and Tom, uh, like drawing your respective comics just mm-hmm. silently it was really cool. Oh, yeah, by the way, I, really cool. I should have been there. Here's a little there. message to all the backers: we have already amassed a ton, an, a, oh, like a huge it, amount of backer content. It's unreal. It's fucking unbelievable. We're to talking be like honest. like like twenty videos already exist, and one of them is like forty five minutes. Stuff. Gib and Digi killed it with the amount of shit they made. Uh, and there's there's more. To, like I think. Th- there's well, tons I, I won't more. go into it. I won't go into it. But we're not going to release it until more content is out because it's got spoilers. Uh, I, so we're going to wait. I swear to God, like seventy five percent of the entire time at Radcon, like not mm-hmm. counting sleeping, was recorded. Like there was a camera on somewhere in the house. Thanks to Gib. Thanks to Gib and Digi for like fucking mm-hmm. filming a bunch of shit. Right. Yeah. There, 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 awesome. there, there, there are two other ones. One, uh-huh. me and Digi were writing a skit for Project Awesomeness that was great. Great, and we mm-hmm. just didn't have time to uh, record it properly, and uh, you know, could have ironed out more. And uh, also, this is not really a missed opportunity because it did in fact happen. But mm. uh, I'm kind of anxious of the result. Ben, okay. uh, the Red Race Cop Killers Me Maker was great, but the actual like Wii Sports Resort was really bad. Yeah. Um, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I mean I it's okay. I, I, okay. Overall, I liked it. Like I'm not. I don't. Well, the the game was bad, but I don't think the 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 recording was bad. I I think the rec- I, I have an idea of how I want to fix it, which will really fit in with Ravager's Cop Killers. But I'll I'll tell it to you after the uh, show, so we don't. Get, okay. You know, okay. You know, Word. Fucked up. Oh, should we should we make a, like a statement on whether the stuff will be available to people at some point? Uh, oh yeah, not back in? we don't have a plan for it, but we plan on making it available some way to people afterwards. So we will get back to you. If you didn't back Radcon, do not panic. Even though you should feel ashamed of yourself, yeah. Uh, but you, there there probably will be a way to get it. So don't, don't freak out. It'll be Probably. jacked the fuck up though, and it'll be twisted. It'll <laughs> you be, will regret directly your to your decisions. fucking sphincter directly. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, uh, Giffy says, "What future technology hmm. are you most excited for? Auto, uh, automatic cars, bro. Self driving uh, cars. Uh, auto self erotic asphyxiation yeah, machines. Yeah, th- yeah, uh, looking too. forward to that in a big way. Um, self, self." Fucking sex dolls. Because That's what I just so what, basically what said. What is wrong God with dang. all of you? What is fucking <laughs> wrong with I, all the I, fucking freaks right now? I am, uh, you know, I'm having a sex doll is great, forward. but it's such a it's such a time commitment. But now you have yeah. a doll that will fuck itself, so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gib, yes. I, I want uh, airplanes to become like incredibly fuel efficient, so that they're super cheap and I can fly all over the world. Yeah, really easy. That'd yeah. Be nice. And that's, yeah! that's fairly likely yeah, to happen. that's my new answer. I, okay, I, I I didn't really care about living abroad at all until, like, I just thought about it for a second, about how being in the EU, I could just, like, live in, like, London or something. Well, I, maybe not anymore. But I could, like, live in, what's, a, <laughs> like, like Paris or something. And I could just, like, yeah. walk, well, not walk, but I could just, like, go to Germany. Or I could just, like, go to Spain. 
and then it sounds yeah. very nice. I would like to do that. I, I want I want there to be maybe not a radicon, but just a, specifically a Gib and Munchie hangout. I want to go to Europe someday. That will happen. Yeah. I guarantee it. We could Pokemon Go all over the world. Yeah. Hey man, Radcon for London. I'm just saying it'd be pretty good. <laughs> yes. Pretty good. It would be pretty good and also very expensive. Radcon well, five you know, Japan. Worth it. And Radcon five Japan. I love this idea of doing the next one in London and the the, the, the fifth one in Japan in Tokyo. The, that would the, be the amazing. Radcon Japan is the worst fucking idea I've ever. Heard. No, you don't I know don't that. Agree. You don't no know shit. shit. I, How fucking I don't think sick it would, would I don't be. think Radcon Japan would work as a Radcon. I think it would work you as guys like a, let's don't all go know to what Japan fucking... and be anime. It would be like, so don't retarded. Don't speak Japanese. But that exactly. I, but I have lived in Japan for months, and it is a place that is designed that you don't need to know Japanese to yeah, survive. I, mean, I have mo- been most, there. I know the place. Most big cities. You can you can ask for like help and people like all, really it's no like, different. The, the, the just... reason it's kind of a weird idea is because mm-hmm. Radcon is about making content together rather than hanging out in in a city. Well, not every think, Radcon has to be, be exactly a... the same. As long as we pitch it with the honest, you know, like this is okay, what it's going well, to be. We would, you know, we would probably call London and and like Japan different things than Radcon then. No, because Radcon <laughs> implies like we're getting together to make a bunch of content, and you'll see it soon. Uh, your face but implies something like that would be we go to an expensive city gay. and live in a hotel, <laughs> and then we have like a fun time. And we uh, like, literally just get an Airbnb. Uh, who cares? It's fine. Why just can't do it fun be both? stuff. Why yeah, I, I don't see why it couldn't be both. Um, well, well, the reason I, it can't be both is really just uh, there's no point going to such a place if we're going to stay in one place and record. Just th- and do not both. Actually then go out. Literally go out and do stuff for a day or but two out of like the 10 how, days or whatever. How expensive is it to live like just in Japan? I mean, for, like, I did it, month. and it is they, fair. Do it's they have Airbnbs city. in Japan? Yeah. I don't know, but we could look no, into it. Uh, uh, we're, all right, there's no need to like fucking break the fucking thing down. I'm just saying it'd be <laughs> Red cool. Red Con 5 you, right do now. Do you agree? It would description. be cool. Yes. Do you agree? All right. Yes, it would. Thank, nice you. Go, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Catch a Farfetch'd. Hey, there you go. Oh, there yeah, you never go. mind. Red Con 5 Japan. Uh, Red Con 5, the quest <laughs> for Farfetch'd. That's what it is. That's <laughs> that's the one. All of us Pokemon We all have to get them. And we have to we have to transfer them. A Red Con exclusively for Pokemon Go Let's play content <laughs> exclusively. No other content available. Oh my god! All right, all right. Two, two more questions, and, okay. and then let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Chip good. in the Franks. Uh, similar question. What's a mundane, everyday miracle that you noticed and recognize? This is magnets. this is a really interesting one. What? Yeah, yeah, magnets. Um, an everyday miracle. What's an everyday miracle? That I mean, like? just being alive. Period. Yeah. yeah. Like like. Okay. Can when we he do- says miracle, yeah. is that just like for us to interpret in any way we want? I think we so. Like? Yeah. Okay. Just I, I just I get hung up on the word miracle only because like if people say that like life is a miracle, well, like no, I mean we can exactly trace back why life exists. And, like, well, uh, so but, what do we well, mean? Think about think mean? about like Doctor Manhattan talking about how like you know okay. like like a mm-hmm. spectacularly unlikely event is a miracle. And like yeah. by that definition, being alive is definitely one. I mean, to I, me, sort of. When I think when I think miracle, I think like not necessarily something Jesus. that doesn't happen a lot, but something that I don't see a lot, and it's just like really like oh yeah, well, okay, okay. Yeah. B- because and and, says... and for me that would be that would be like a sunrise. It's like, like Jesus I love those because I don't see them a lot. Jesus walked on water, but in Kirby I can just run across water. So like there's an everyday miracle. Like it, I was just playing Kirby, so. <laughs> There it is. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Because he says the everyday miracle, I think he's using the definition of a miracle, which is not really a miracle. Like, which like the ICP of, version of miracle. Like, I, like I, the I magnets, think he's you know? Using, like, it, like, something that you really like when it happens. That, that is, like, like <laughs> just like, oh, like, thank God the electricity works. What a fucking yeah, miracle. I was what, gonna, what a I world think, we live in. I think yeah. video games are an amazing everyday miracle that I absolutely love and I'm so thankful. And the internet, it, yeah. I guess. But I'm going to go with video games. I'm going to go with video games. That's perfect. I, because that's like, that's I, like, like, thank God we evolved in the way that like like that allows us humans to create video games like what a miracle yes. oh, well i i have like a well mm. i was gonna say um when somebody that i know never followed me before just mm-hmm. leaves a nice comment and says i'm subscribing that's a nice thing <laughs> that doesn't happen very often but when it does it's like yeah i i can do it yeah. i can do it because of this B- ben, when- do, you, do you have an everyday miracle um uh, uh... <laughs> Uh, when when someone thing. goes to patreon.com slash Ben Saint, that's <laughs> yeah, I, already, I already said being alive. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, being dead. dead. Being dead. <laughs> yeah. The two two sides of the same coin. <laughs> um, the Oculus Rift. 
the yes. Oculus Rift. The ability, and- the, the <laughs> fact that I can enter cyberspace bad. at um at any time. Yeah, that, it's that, pretty that's good. Not, that's not a bad one. The fact that you were able oh, to do such a successful hey, Kickstarter. Oh yeah. Oh god. No so wait. A, wait. I haven't. Yeah. The, no. Okay. Let me get like like the 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 fact that the PCP exists and is real and I'm a part of it. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. That, ben, and that's that it makes things possible, like the fact that I could do this Kickstarter. Which, that's by the way, it. the books, the Vapors books just arrived this morning. Oh, oh I can't but... wait. Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. That's ben, exciting. Um, ben, and, that and, perfectly... and, you know, and the, the Oculus Rift is the stretch goal, and that I actually hit the stretch goal, and, you know, that Radcon can happen, and, you know, we yeah. get to do all the this. The fact that we cool got stuff. the TBAP stretch goal in yes. fucking Radcon 3 is an everyday miracle. Not even every day. That's like a. It's shocking. It's on a it's fucking shocking. blue moon. All right, all right, Ben, that was a perfect segue into my segue. Mm. You, you want to know what my, what my everyday miracle is? Uh, Segways. Yeah, here, here's, a new, <laughs> here's a new question for you. Mick Coolman, do you guys have a childhood dream that you've successfully fulfilled? Being mm. in the PCP. Oh, that was my that mm. was my childhood dream. Well, That's being in the horseshoe miracle. crew, really, but... Oh, <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> Uh well that's great that's I mean you're still in your childhood so you're fulfilling that dream yeah, right now exactly <laughs> feed me yummies I'm such a little baby boy don't you want me to be big and strong I need my yummy I don't, chocolate I don't want you getting any bigger or stronger you scare yeah, me yeah that would be a danger to us all um yeah. I guess if I get any dream... bigger or any stronger I'll be a serious threat to not only Reality, all of you but it'll it'll be like. Whole. It'll be like in the Animatrix when that guy literally became more physically strong and fast at like running that was like able to be handled by the Matrix and he shattered out of it. That's Animatrix? what Munchie will what be like. What the fuck? That yeah, that's sounds what like my life. <laughs> that's literally it. Uh, with your resting heartbeat clipping the microphone of yeah. real life every moment. Uh, <laughs> um, pretty good. This this was a good one. This this was this was fine. This was nice. It was good. Oh, by the I, way, I just want to say uh, oh. one another missed opportunity at Radcon three doing the Oculus Rift. A tragic yeah yeah. I brought it one. and um, yeah. I brought my graphics card. Um, and it issues. didn't seem like mining it, at night with it. It yeah. didn't seem like it was gonna. <laughs> we work burned it out on mining mo- at night too much. No, Tom, Tom no. said that it might have worked on his laptop, but we kind of ran out of time and didn't get to like give it a shot. That's sad. So that That's was a sad. shame. Oh well, next time, next time. Oh oh oh! Actually, in everyday miracles, that my computer didn't fucking like break at Radcom because it was yeah. it, it was really fucking. Tame. I mean, well, it, I'm it jealous because my time. computer did break at Radcon, and now my yeah. my my laptop <laughs> keyboard doesn't work. So That's it's right. all it's shout a out, it's, it's a fucking to, brick now. Yeah. Mm. Shout outs to my laptop who did basically everything. Your laptop yeah, killed a, it, dude. Mm-hmm. He's a strong boy. I gave him a pat on the back. He's a good. All right, I, guys. This is there's a there's a fucking crowbat outside my door. Like just a poke stop away. I have. To oh my god, it. he's got to go. We got to wrap yeah, this yeah, one up yeah, right yeah, here, everybody. Gotta, yeah, All right. Should, Thanks for joining us, bed. everybody. Yo, listen, everybody. Uh, the patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Go there. Give us five dollars for bonus episodes. Another one should be out now. By the time you're hearing this, don't know what it is yet. It'll be out. Uh, there's there's like a million already back. There's like twelve or something already. They're all great. Uh, Gamergate, <laughs> fucking Trump, Trump, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Insomnia, incredible. Uh, give us money there. One dollar gets you into the Patreon launch where we take more questions. Give us that. It's a fun time. We're all hanging out there. Uh, go to the Twitter. Follow us on the Twitter for updates. Radcon 3 just happened. For the love of God, check out the fucking playlist to Radcon 3. We should link it in the description. But if it's not there, just go to the playlist on our channel. Radcon 3 the, content is pouring out right now. Yeah, yeah like, and, and, and all, the, all the amazing... You've gotten two lectures. This is yeah. a minuscule amount of stuff that we recorded. We have That's right. so much fucking content all like we have we have like, a bunch of little like vlogs and stuff but, like that, that's all great and nice <clears throat> but we also have huge fucking like monstrous great like new innovative types of content that yeah. uh you know you're gonna we, we by the to time of recording this we we haven't even gotten out half the lectures yet so they're yeah. all still coming uh, or you know have three of them are still coming we got there's just so much there's so much fucking shit still coming uh and and as well as the back of <laughs> rewards just a, a just treasure trove of shit so look out for all this shit uh at tb crash news follow us for announcements and you you know, all this kind of shit. So, and uh, thanks to everybody who gave the Kickstarter once again. Radcon 3, huge yes, success. Going to keep rolling out. Going to keep on doing it. Radcon 4, here we come. And we will see you on the next fucking episode. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.